let me just show you a better close-up of the power. So this is the power adapter that you get with it. I'm gonna try to zoom in as much as I can. I know a lot of you are just watching this video just to get this information. And around it, there's nothing else. On the cable itself, you might be looking for some writing, but there isn't. There's no writing on it that says Google or anything like that. It's all the information they can see, it will be right here. And that would be it. That's all the info around this. There's nothing else. That's how you know it's Google because it's a Google product, but there's no G's on here or anything like that that would tell you that this is a Google product. And the same thing goes with the other ones. So these three would be the exact same thing. There's nothing different about them. And you would use them, any one of these, for any one of the routers that we just got. Now here's the Ethernet cable that came with this. And as you guys can see, it's just a standard Ethernet cable. There's nothing that fancy about this. Obviously, this is meant for the speed that these guys can go. They're not going to send you something that's slower than what you would need. The information around this one, I can show you on this cable. There's some info here for those of you who are just watching this video just for this. So here we go. I tried to focus in as much as I can. You guys can see some of the information on the cable. But that's all the information on the cable that I could find. Other than that, this is how the ends look like, which is pretty standard. Nothing fancy about it. And finally, like I showed you before, this dude. So the ports, that's all the ports that you're going to see. So one of them is going to be for your Ethernet. It's going to go directly into your modem. And the other one, you could just hook it up to your computer. So that is an option. I, for example, don't suggest doing that because there's a reason why you got this Wi-Fi router in the first place. And uh, there would be almost no reason for you guys to do that. Or at least for most of you to do that. Some of you might. But for that, you will need to purchase your own cable. The cable that came with this is this one. So that's the one that you're going to plug it in. And then it's going to go to your modem. But anyways, that I'm going to show you guys in the setup video, which is a full-on setup video for those of you who are new or for those of you who have a Google product from before. It's good to watch that setup video regardless. And that's it. That's all the ports around it. There's nothing more around this thing. There's some information down here below, but it's not that useful actually. Well, this that you're going to have to scan when you're doing the setup. But other than that, you do get some manuals. And um, let me just show you that the manual doesn't tell you much either. But it does tell you the real basics that comes to this. But again, it's really, really basic how you do this. Like I mentioned before, you just need your power. You're going to need to connect this up to your router. So this is your router. This would be your modem. Or some people have a modem that's also a router. So you have to cook it up like so. And then you just go from the app and you do the whole setup from that. So that's why the manual is so basic and there's nothing much to it. And uh, then there's this paper. And that's it. So here they are. Once again, they are pretty heavy. So for those of you thinking that you can just put this on a plug somewhere, it's most likely going to fall off unless you have something really good to hang on to. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.